What is up y'all? It's your girl Reese and welcome back to my space. If you're new, welcome. If you're old, thank you for rocking with me for another week. It is our first fashion video of the year and I thought I would start with your must-have winter coats. Now if you're anything like me, I am Canadian. I live in cold hell. <laughs> Don't be fooled by what I'm wearing today. I just got this really cute like knit sleeveless turtleneck and I was like let me wear this since I cannot wear it outside it's actually snowing today I live in Toronto it's very very cold so I have collected jackets and coats over the years that I wear in the winter months now by no means are these jackets that you have to have like every single one of these you do not need every single one of these but if you're like me I've collected these over time I like these different styles so I wanted to go through these different style jackets and coats for you so that you have options and variations to what winter can really be it can be boring we can get very complacent I do find myself wearing black all the time during the winter because I feel like I'm morning I'm morning the warm weather I'm morning the sun I'm always wearing black so I'm making it a point to change it up and be a little bit more creative with my wardrobe and coats are a huge part of that for the winter so without further ado we're gonna hop right in i'm gonna show you the coat style and then i'm gonna show you how i style it so that you have some inspo so first off we are starting with the quilted jacket so here i have a very fun blue color which is so out of the box for me guys i am very neutral most of the time like Especially when it comes to winter, like I just said, I really stick to my blacks. Blue was so, so out of the box. So this style, though it's definitely not a new style, we definitely saw it resurge in the fashion mainstream recently when brands have been giving it a refresh. And I was definitely late to this party. I feel like it started a couple years ago and I want to say the first brand that I saw really do it um where it was like more mainstream was the frankie shop and they had a beautiful olive colored one and then they did like the blacks and the beige and everybody had it loved it and then of course i feel like more historical or like a style that a brand has done over the years which is the quilted is burberry but it I feel like Burberry needs a, a, a refresh. Like they need a, a big marketing push that's a refresh because they do really, really great classic styles. But uh, for something that they've done years and years and years, um, Frankie Shop really, really got in front of that and really pushed out the quilted style. So yeah, my version is blue. So here I'm styling it with my moon boots and moon boots are very controversial, I know. I know I was very on the fence with it too, but like I said, I live in winter hell. So I was like, let me get some boots that are waterproof because every single year I keep wrecking my Uggs and I deeply love my Uggs. So yeah, I have like a beautiful pair of black Uggs that are fairly new that I wrecked last winter and I'm like, you know what, I'm, I'm over that, I'm done with that. So I picked up some moon boots so that, you know, th those are weatherproof so they can get wet without me being upset about it. All right, next up is your waterfall belted jacket. So this is a beautiful black color, very me. Uh, this is 100% wool, I love this so much. This I feel was the entry professional jacket for a lot of us. Like I remember getting my first big girl job or you know, even going on interviews and stuff like, or this was the kind of style I was wearing to church and things with my family. Like this gave me grown woman vibes. Like this was the first grown woman piece of clothing that I got. It was very, very identifiable. Like when I wore this, I was just like, I'm, I'm a woman. Meanwhile, I was this little girl. But yeah, so this style jacket has been around for years and years and years. Like I said, I've had one since I was a teenager. I buy them again and again. What I really love about this style is that it's like wearing a robe outside. <laughs> And if you guys know anything about me, you guys know that I love a robe. Deeply, deeply. So of course, before when I first started wearing these style jackets and coats, it was very much for my professional life, like when I was trying to be a grown up, a woman, or go somewhere dressy. But since then, I've learned that you can definitely style this down. And I love the belt, like here on this one, I tie the belt up at the back because I like to wear it more boxy. 
So you can do a lot of things with it. When it's not super cold, you can definitely leave it open. If it has a button like this one does, you can just have the button up. You can tie it for a more snatch waist. You can do a lot of different things with one jacket and we love a versatile piece. Next up on the list is the Teddy Coat. Now, y'all, Max Mara gave this look and vibe new life. You guys know what I'm talking about. The iconic Teddy Coat by Max Mara. This is a dupe style. This is from Banana Republic Mine, um, which I love. It, it's given the same energy with a little bit of differences. Like the color is the same, the camel, stunning. But Max Mara gave this style of coat life in the last couple years and it's kept it super, super at the top of the winter must have pieces. And with its price point being like four or $5,000, it's quite expensive and that's Canadian, I believe. Uh, it, you know, it manages to stay in the A-listers um, realm of things Like you see a lot of celebrities wearing them. There are a lot of dupe options and this one is probably my favorite that I've ever had. I've had another dupe option that I got I can't remember from what brand, but it was like this color and then the red color. Like I loved it. I had, I had them both and those are like a hundred dollar price point. This one is a little bit more pricey. The quality is better. Like it does give the exact Max Mara vibe, if I can say that. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. <laughs> if you don't think that this gives the same vibe. But like from in a space where I had a dupe before, this definitely to me was better quality probably because there is wool in it. And I don't think my older dupes had a wool wool in it at all. So the appeal of this is that one, it's so fashion, but it's two, it's fashion, but it's also functional. Like you can imagine, like I'm struggling to carry this right now with my one arm, it's very, very heavy. So if it's heavy, you know, it's warm. And so not only do you look like a teddy bear, you also feel like you're getting hugged by a teddy bear. It's so, so friggin' good. And honestly, this is one of those coats that is kind of the outfit. You know, I tend to dress very, very simple when I'm wearing this. Here I'm styling it with a very easy, all black mini skirt look. And I threw this on top for, you know, this This is the 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 showstopper of the outfit. You know, the outfit is just meh, it is what it is but I can wear a mini skirt and get away with it with some sheer black tights because I have this huge teddy bear shell on top of me and I will be warm, I will be protected from the snow. Love that for me. All right, next up we have trench coats and I have two of my favorites here to give you guys variation. Now a trench coat was originally created back in the day for the British army. It is weatherproof and I think considering it was made in for the British, it was probably weatherproof for the like fall rainier seasons, whereas I'm talking about this for the winter. Of course, the trench coat has since adapted and changed in so many different ways and you can get different lengths of trench coat and then different styles. But the most important thing to me is that it is weatherproof. You know, both of these trench coats here, like I have quite a few, I think I have four or five trench coats and these two that I can wear fall to winter and I'm comfortable wearing them. This one is a little bit lighter and this one is, is more aligned. So I feel a bit warmer wearing this one, but both of them have that weatherproof material where if it gets, if it's snowing or raining, it, can, it will just roll off of my trench coat. So there's no damaging it. And it doesn't, you don't have the wet spots. And I hate that. I hate being outside and you get wet and you have the wet spots on you and you go somewhere and you're just sitting there and you have to dry. This just rolls off of you. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. So what I love about a trench coat in styling is, you know, for winter months, obviously I'm wearing ones that are a little bit more lined, so it's a bit warmer. If I'm, if it's a nicer day, then I can wear a lighter underlayer. If it's a colder day, I can wear a heavier underlayer. And then I just feel like a trench coat just elevates your look. I can be very boring and I'm not even gonna lie, I am typically quite boring when it comes to me dressing with a trench coat. It just elevates your look because a trench coat is just that. It elevates you, it takes you to the next level. It's very, thoughtful. It feels like you planned for this outfit. I, I think personally a trench coat never seems like something that someone's just reaching for to put on their body to run out of the door. Wow, to run out of the door. It's a coat that always feels like it's thought to be part of the outfit. So like even this, this is my favorite example because it's very plain. This I'll wear with an all black look and it just looks very put together. 
every single time. If you guys are OG on the channel, you guys knew that I was going to talk about this. It is the shacket. The shacket might be my favorite thing to come out of the pandemic. I think this is, it was maybe born right before the pandemic, but it kind of like took off in the pandemic. I know that I got my first one. This is my first one during the pandemic and the girlies, we sold it. We sold it out. Okay. We sold it out on all the websites and I love this so, so much today. Now this is a much lighter shacket. It doesn't have a lining layer, so it's definitely not, not winter proof. Like this isn't a winter jacket by itself, but I'm using it as an example because the shacket has evolved so much since its origin a couple years ago. And you can find shackets with like really, really great lining for the winter months. Now, don't get me wrong. I will still wear this outside in the winter on warmer days. I'll throw this on or this is my favorite, favorite top layer to like a full sweatsuit look. I'm talking, I'm wearing a long sleeve with a hoodie on top and matching sweatpants and some Uggs or my moon boots or something. And I'm throwing this on top because it's so many layers already and then a scarf on top. So I'm warm. I'm very, very warm in this. But like I said, there are so many options. If you're looking for a purely winter one, grab one with a better lining than this. This one I like to wear transitioned over a couple of seasons. So I can wear this in fall, winter, and the spring because it doesn't have that under layer. But yes, my favorite, top, top favorite coat that I bought. Yeah, I have so many favorites though. Like I feel like all of them are favorites. Okay. Up next is a pea coat, military coat, Chesterfield coat, whatever you want to call it. I kind of grouped them all together because the, the changes or the differences in them are so different. Like one of them is snatches your waist, the other one's double breasted and they're all fairly similar. Now this for me personally was something that came into my life very, very early on. Like this style and the like waterfall belted style were styles that very early on in my life, I looked at as like, oh, a professional woman, a grown woman, dressy type of situation. But the girlies, the fashion girlies have proven to us that you can wear this dressed up or dressed down. And there's so many different variations of this. Typically when I go for these type of coats, I will look for a coat with like a wool fabric to keep. Wool. And I just think that it has that perfect sleek look. Like I said, typically I would wear this for a dress up style, but I'm styling it here for you guys pretty dressed down. This is probably like the Hailey Bieber style coat. I mean, I think hers is YSL. <laughs> Mine is not YSL. This is from the brand called Dunce. This is a 100% wool coat though, I believe. And it's, is it wool? Yeah, it is a wool coat. It's stunning. It's long. This is a size medium. I love this deeply. I dress it up. I dress it down. Here I'm styling it with a beanie. It's definitely dressed down for me. This is just something that will live in my wardrobe forever. I will reach for it for always. It's very, very warm and versatile and it's unisex so honestly i think it's big enough for daryl to wear if he wanted to but you know he has his own stuff up next you guys have seen this this is one of my favorites this style coat is kind of like the shearling jacket now the shearling jacket coat to me is like if a teddy coat and a leather jacket like a moto leather jacket had a baby eh, this would be the baby okay it is the cool guy cool girl jacket coat style of the winter months like it is fashion it's it, timeless like that style will never go away i love it so much my first experience of it was the acne studios one which is iconic i lost out on it during a sale it's not i lost i made a dumb decision to not buy it the all black one um in a sale a couple years ago i would say like three or four years ago where i think it was on sale for like twelve hundred dollars and i was like mm -hmm. I don't know, there's other things I want to buy. Do I really want this? And then I didn't buy it and someone else bought it and then immediate, immediate regret. So it hasn't come back into my life yet. Eventually it will. Like I fully believe that it will come back into my life. That was my first experience of this style jacket. And since then I've gotten a few. Uh, I had a long version that I sold recently. And then this is my current favorite one. This is from Stan Studio and I love it. Oh, I love it so much. I feel like probably for the fall, this got the most wear for me and I've worn it a couple times this winter. I love it so much. Now, of course, this is a crop style and if there's snow on the ground, nine times out of 10, I'm not wearing a crop style jacket because I like my butt to be covered, like my bum, like the space between my top and my, my pants. 
I just need all of that to be covered. But sometimes like this, for instance, I, these are really baggy, thick pants. I will also wear an under layer. And so in that case, I will throw this on top and it will look good too with this look. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. But there are a lot of variations of this, longer versions. I know the Stan Studio has a longer version one. I will link that in the description below. That's actually on my wish list if it hits a good enough sale price. Mine. Immediately mine because this wears beautifully. Like stunning, stunning. It's so, so warm, y'all. You knew we were gonna talk about it. Puffers. What is a winter without a puffer jacket, especially a winter with snow? And this is my life. So I've got a few. I've got a few. Now, puffer jackets used to be that ugly, horrible jacket because you're outside facing the ugly, horrible weather, but gone are those days. The brands these days, they really rebranded the puffer jacket, the puffer coat, even like big, big name brands like Canada Goose and Montclair and stuff, they've definitely in the past couple years elevated their style with, you know, more attractive colorways instead of just your black and whites and reds. Like that's so obnoxious, like a red parka is a lot or a puffer, that's a lot. And I like that, but I just feel like it's not for every day. Canada Goose recently did one that's like this beautiful muted olive, like girl what and then montclair has like a beautiful houndstooth one basically they're listening and they're moving into fashion so you know a puffer doesn't mean you have to be ick in it it can be fashion now a photo that lives literally rent free in my mind and i think if you guys watch a winter video that i did before i recreated this look using my puffer here my black puffer is rosie huntington in i think a black rick owens puffer an all black look with her, like a slick back model bun and then glasses and red lip with her Kelly bag. And I was like, oh my God, iconic. I'm not even gonna lie. That may have influenced me to pick the Kelly over Birkin. Yeah, because iconic. And that was fashion. That was fashion in the winter in a puffer. Girl, kidding? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Now, like I said, the iconic brands that have done puffers for a hundred thousand years, like Canada Goose and Montclair, they're stepping it up and doing more fashion ones. And then you got the fashion brand, like the big, big fashion houses doing puffers too, like Prada. Prada, we see you, all the girlies with their Prada puffers, like shmoney out and skiing and stuff and their whole Prada looks. Fendi, yo. Ha! Okay, I see you, I see you. And I'm manifesting that for myself one day, okay? One day. But until then, I'm, I'm wearing my plain black, my plain whites, but dressing them up. This, I'm styling it to, like a <laughs> Justin Bieber. Honestly, I throw this on all the time, just over my regular outfit. So here I'm wearing it with a sweater and some dress pants and some Prada loafers. And then I saw a picture of Justin Bieber and I was like, that kind of looks like my outfit. <laughs> so I'm gonna say that I styled it to look like Justin Bieber, but really he styled it to look like me. And last but not least, the last style of winter jacket coat is the fur, the fur, okay? Now this is a faux, but doesn't it look good? Doesn't it look like a, a real, okay? Just let me, let me pretend. If it doesn't really look like a real fur, just let me pretend. Cause I personally think it's stunning. And it kind of speaks for itself. Like a fur in the winter time is warm. Like it's very, very warm and it's very, very fashion and historically it's upper echelon shmoney girls. And you know, a lot of the time on this channel, we're trying to look like expensive women, like shmoneys, you know? You put on a fur, you look like you're going to a boxing match somewhere in like Vegas in the hot, hot weather, but you gotta show people you got shmoney. So yeah, this actually is exactly what I plan to wear when I go outside tomorrow because it's snowing, but I still wanna be kind of fashion and I'm gonna throw on some good boots, like, hello. And then the lengths of it, long ones, short ones, matching hats, like, ugh, ugh. It speaks for itself, really. I don't really have to say much about it, except for if you're into the style, perfect, perfect winter coats. Anyways, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below which winter jacket coat style is your favorite or which you guys already have, or if I missed any. Give me some below because y'all know I'm a jacket coat girl and I'm always on the lookout for a new one and I will see you guys in the next video.